Hello colleagues, my name is Owen Williams and I am the Chief Executive of Calderdale and Huddersfield NHS Foundation Trust and I'm really pleased to have been given the opportunity to talk about International Women's Day. One of the things that I was asked to consider in preparing for this short message was which woman or women did I really admire? Beyond the obvious choices of my two mums and my wife, a woman that came to mind was Mary Brockert, otherwise known as the Vanilla Sister, Tina Marie. She's somebody I've talked about previously, and long after her passing a few years ago, what I still admire about her today was how she dealt with the racism that came from all angles as a result of her being a white female singing soul and R&B music in what was considered to be a largely black music genre. Next on my list of admiration is Michelle Obama because in my humble opinion she reverses the maxim of Annie Lennox who once said that behind every great man there had to be a great woman. I believe that Michelle is an inspirational leader in her own right and in my mind she has the ability to transcend politics in a way that her other half would struggle to do in the US, which is a rare gift in this modern day and age. Someone else I have a great deal of respect for is Sam Allen, who is the Chief Executive of the Sussex Partnership NHS Foundation Trust. She was a lead figure in producing the influential Men as Allies report, and if you wanted to see how you can influence gender equality without always feeling the need to be the loudest in the room, then Sam is the exemplar. And someone perhaps newer to what I would describe as my celebrity list is Michaela Cole. She's a British actress who has made a massive impact on me in the way that through her acting, she has shone a light on the exploitation of communities in Africa, as well as powerfully highlighting the damage and harm of drink spiking and date rate drugs. Closer to home, there are a few thousand women who work and volunteer for CHFT and its partners that I could have named, but these are five colleagues that spring to mind as I record this message. Asifa Ali is the embodiment of tenacity and has played a key role in improving the life chances of many people through her dedication to promoting and advancing ethical research. Then there is Rennie Comerford, who a few years ago sensed that something was not quite right about the way that people from different communities were accessing and experiencing care. She went beyond her own comfort zone and started the conversation that I would recognise today as tackling health inequalities. Carol Gregson. Just walk on a hospital ward with Carol and you will see what earned respect looks like. Not by dint of power or position, but by empathy and naturally caring for others. Helen McNair, the person that keeps you and me safe before you and me even know that we need to be saved from ourselves in the first place. And then there is Natalie Wood and Elizabeth Morley who are both the personification of selfless leadership, which features the advancement of others, sometimes at the expense of self. In celebration of International Women's Day, I make no apology for using my few minutes to celebrate and pay tribute to the greatness of the women who work for our trust and women in general. But I end this short message with a but. Statistics confirm that half the world's population are female, yet only 14 of the chief executive officers in the FTSE 300 are women. Of 19,000 academic professors in the UK, only 35 are estimated to be black women. Also, as Pauline Rose Clance and Suzanne Eames wrote in 1978, the imposter phenomenon in high achieving women, still in my opinion, remains a conversation yet to be fully explored in terms of where next in the advancement of women in general. So in closing, 
and to coin a word from Natasha Cloud, who is an American basketball player who has postponed her playing career to become a civil rights activist. It is great that we are celebrating International Women's Day and there is much to appreciate. But as Natasha would say, let's not be accepting of crumbs from the table. Women from every walk of life deserve more and their contribution should be a matter of celebration and recognition every day of the year. Enjoy the day and thank you for all that you do for us and society at large. Thank you.